Right here I have this four quart ice cream maker. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with before we try it out. This is everything that came inside the package besides the user manual. So let's just go through everything that's right here first. Right here is the actual hand crank piece. I'm actually going to install this handle really quick right now so you can kind of see what this piece looks like. So you're just gonna make sure the handle is facing the right direction and we'll just screw this in. I'll do it a little bit by hand and finish it off with a screwdriver. So this is what the hand crank is going to look like when it's completely finished. This does have a little wooden part on the handle so that as you turn, you don't have to adjust your hand. And you can see that as I'm cranking, it is hand spinning this little piece right inside here. This hand crank is gonna be perfect for after you're done using the motorized part. If you want a little bit of a thicker texture ice cream, you can finish it off the last 10 to 15 minutes with this. Right here we have the motorized top of the ice cream maker. It has a little on and off switch right here and it has a standard plug-in. You can see it has the piece that spins right in here. Right here we have the wooden bucket. I love the features of this. I think it looks so cute. On the front it says original vintage ice cream maker and it's all wood here. It is sealed on the inside, which is nice. Right along the seams down here, that way you can put ice in here and it's still gonna work great. This does have a really sturdy handle as well, just so you can pick this up and move it around. And right over on the side, it does have this nice clamp. And that's just gonna hold down the motor up here so you don't have to worry about it moving around or falling off. Right here is the stabilizing ring. And this is the canister lid right here. And this is the canister lid cap. So this is what you're gonna be using on the top of the canister itself. And this is that canister. This is what your actual ice cream is gonna be made in. This is gonna go on top of here as you are making your ice cream. And when your ice cream is already done and finished being made, you can put this little cap on top just to keep it airtight and so that you can freeze this and don't have to worry about it getting freezer burnt. Right here is the plastic stir. So let's go ahead and assemble this. You can see what it looks like fully assembled. There's this little piece right here on the bottom that's gonna help hold this canister in place. You can see on the bottom of the canister, there's this little divot. So the way you're going to assemble this after washing all of your different pieces and preparing your ice cream, and also after putting this piece right here in the freezer for two to three hours prior to use, just to make sure that it's gonna make the ice cream a lot faster. We're going to start with this canister and we're gonna insert the paddle. You can see it just rests right in here. Now we're gonna place the lid on top. And then we're gonna take this stabilizing ring and we're gonna set it down on the bottom of this wooden barrel. Now we're ready to put the canister down on the inside. You can see this is what it looks like. Now this is the point where you're gonna add all of your ice and your rock salt around this area. And then we're going to place the motor right here on top. It just slides into place on this side. And then we're gonna make sure it fits right in to the canister. And once it fits right into place, you can see over here, this is where you're going to latch it into place. So now that both sides are secure, I can actually pick this piece up and it's not going to come off of this wooden frame. Then we have your plug-in, which I would say is about three feet long. And you plug this in and turn it on and you're ready to go. And then when you are ready to replace this with a hand crank or you're using the hand crank instead, you're just going to release this motorized piece, insert your manual crank, all right, and now that that one's in place, you're gonna lock that down again, and then you can manually crank it, and you can see the inside, it's spinning. All right, let me go ahead and wash these different pieces up, get my recipe together, and then let's make some ice cream. For making ice cream the first time, I decided to make mint chocolate chip. And for this recipe, I just followed the booklet exactly. It does say to start by heating up your milk and your sugar just until it's all nice and dissolved. Then once that is completely cooled, you go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients, which was just crushed chocolate chips, cream, and mint extract. I wanted to make sure that the canister had its full three hours to completely freeze, so I just went ahead and put this mixture in the refrigerator until I was ready to make the ice cream. Once everything was completely ready to go, I went ahead and poured all of the ingredients into the really cold canister. And then we go ahead and make sure that the canister and the lid and all the top pieces are firmly in place before we add the ice and the rock salt. This recipe calls for about a 45 minute churn time, but it does say that the machine automatically stops once the ice cream becomes thick enough, which it did exactly that. 
we just went ahead and checked on it every five to 10 minutes to make sure that we don't need to add any more ice or rock salt. The hand churning feature is perfect just to get a little bit of an extra thick ice cream. So we did it for the last 10 minutes or so. The texture was a hit. This was so delicious. Everybody liked it and it was plenty to go around for everybody there. Definitely going to be using this again.